for motor dynamic modeling in the previous video i discussed about the parameter estimation and tuning option in this video we will learn the ckt model with the help of this ckt model circuit model how we can model dynamically high voltage or low voltage motors let's uh, go uh, suppose remove this one okay now this is fine this is the motor nameplate data where uh, you can see this is motor nameplate data this is the uh, impedance these are the locked rotor parameters and this is uh, these are the torque values so based on this we need to model dynamically with the help of ckt model there is the library you can choose from the library already pre-populated data are available here you click here you can see this is single one single two this is and this is double one double two this is single case induction motor this is double case motor let's consider this single case motor for high speed high torque this is high voltage high speed high torque let's select any uh, suppose uh, if it matches with your project requirement you can select here this model id medium voltage 4700 hp four pole motor click ok you can select this one you can update now you can see these are the parameters already calculated by etf and this is torque speed curve current four factor okay that's fine if it is available in the library though the library data is very limited in uh, but the chance a uh, high high probability is that you cannot f find your project specific motor data so in that case how to get this circuit model uh, how to get this motor dynamic model i will uh, show you first of all we need to add in the uh, library so let's close this okay go to library and here you need to go motor and here is the circuit model as you can see single to i want to suppose i want to copy this one you can edit this one directly or you can add or copy let's copy this item and here it will ask for the design class let's say let's rename it only h h small h okay click ok so we have defined now edit okay here you can see the star mark so you need to we you need to create this model id based on your requirement suppose this is 850 kilowatt motor so definitely it is mb motor so i will rename it i will give the name mb 850 kilowatt suppose this is four pole motor so four pole and here what you can do if you have if you have the motor parameters if you have the motor these electrical parameters resistance and reactance value of stator rotor and magnetizing circuit from the motor manufacturer data set you can fill this data over here 
you can fill the data over here based on your project specific requirement suppose for for an example okay so we are editing this one okay suppose let's give some values suppose 0.8 i am giving arbitrarily the values over here so you need to you need to fill up from the motor manufacturer data sheet all the values 0.8 like this so 2.6 closer to this value and suppose this one 7 like this okay now it has been created Now you can close this one now go to the ckt model here go to model go to library let's see quickly choose this one you can see here design class this model we have created and here the model id we need to keep the model id here the last one 850 kilowatt four pole now click ok you can see this is your project specific requirement yeah so based on the manufacturer's data this has been created you see this torque, uh, torque speed current uh, power factor curve so all these curves has been created so in this way you can customize your project specific manufacturer data specific model dynamic motor model using uh, this ckt model so first of all you need to create you need to add in the library and then you need to select from the library in the next video i will show how to create the motor dynamic model using this characteristic model.